Welcome to Tech Results Damir. In this video, we are going to learn about different type of joins in Kusto. Uh, we are going to learn about the inner join, left join, right join, full outer join, and uh, there are some other type of joins uh, that we'll be learning in Kusto. Let's go ahead and experiment and learn all different type of joins uh, in Kusto. So first of all, uh, what we are doing here, uh, we are creating this table called customer, customer ID, and name. So just to create uh, different uh, scenarios for you, I kept the data very small. Why? So you can remember and then uh, we can compare the data right away. So once you compare the data in your head or paper, it's very easy to get the, um, write some queries and see the results and uh, see how exactly it is uh, working. Um, so I will always suggest somebody like if they're working on a small new technologies and want to learn something, uh, create small data sets uh, so they can once they visualize it then can remember it instead of uh, like oh let me join all these records from um, two million records you know from two different tables so you're not gonna see a whole lot picture of it anyways uh, so this is a customer table we have customer id and name then i have created another table called order and in the order table we have order id order name and then the customer ID, like the customer who has ordered those uh, products. Uh, so here we have Amir, we have Raza. So you see that there are ID one for Amir and Raza. Now for Lisa, we have ID two, for Steve, we have ID three. So total we have four records, uh, but the two of them have same IDs. Uh, I did that by purpose so we can explain in the different scenarios. Uh. Now in the other one, uh, you can see right there, we have a uh, uh, order number one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry. So we also replicate the same type of thing here. So we duplicated the, the IDs here as well. So for IDs, uh, for the order ID. And then uh, what we have here, we have uh, uh, number four here. That's a customer ID. If you see right there, there is no customer ID number four here. See right there. So this is this record I put there for customer number four. Uh, that also does not exist uh, in the customer table. Now, if you see right there, uh, we do not have any record. So this is a three customer three. We do not have any uh, order for customer three in this uh, order table. So we have orders for one and uh, we have orders for two and uh, that's all. And then four is there. We have, a, but uh, four does not exist in customer. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look now. Let me say uh, this is our customer table and now if you can uh, run the query and see the data. So you, this is the data for our customer table and uh, then uh, let's go ahead and uh, order. So let me just uh, type order and run the query. So this is our order table. Now first join uh, that we are going to talk about is uh, our I'm just going to write this and uh, many times I execute this one in case I need it. So first of all, uh, if you say you need to join any data in Kusto between two tables, what you will say, you will say table name. That's first uh, table in our case customer. And then you use pipe sign. You will say join and uh, type uh, the name of the second table and then say on and then I, uh, I uh, call them. Here I said the customer ID because both table has the same customer ID right there. So you don't have to do left and right uh, tables and uh, just uh, provide the uh, different names. I'm going to show you as well if the column names are different. Uh, if uh, column names are same in both tables, you will just say that the uh, column name on which you would like to join. Uh, it will automatically uh, know that like, oh, this is from the left table as well and the right table as well. So this is the basic query you're going to write. So let's execute this query now. And you see that it is returning as uh, one Amir and then again Amir and then uh, to Lisa. So if you notice here, see right there, we have uh, one Amir and then uh, it joined with this data and then uh, this is the value it returned us. So now by default, uh, it is using the uh, inner unique. So what is inner unique? Inner unique, only one row from the left side is matched for each value of the key. The output contain a row for each match of the row with the rows from the right side. So you see that it found out like Amir here and then it found out like, oh, let me take Amir IDs one here and then join with this and second row and get me output. Also, it found number two there and return number two. 
So see right there, that's the director return. So this is by default and it's called the inner unique. So if uh, you do um, uh, inner join in uh, SQL or anywhere, you the, you are also going to get this record because one will be joined with the, uh, these values and then you will get that. But uh, in Kusto it's called inner unique. So only if it find first row, whatever it is, ID, and then uh, it's going to ignore the second one. So that's how it is. So now uh, if uh, you want to write it with the kind, so let's say you want to just provide what type of uh, join you need to use in the Kusto query. So this is how you'll do, do that. So you will say customer and pipe sign join kind equal to actually your in join type, then a second table on and the column on which you would like to join. So as I said, that customer ID is the same in both table. That's why I'm only specifying one time. So we don't have to say uh, like left equal to customer ID equal to the right equal to customer ID or some different column name. If it is a different column name, we have to write it. Now let's go ahead and execute again. It's going to return us the same record. Now, if uh, you would like to have, let's say you're, in my case, we have customer ID in both. Now think about that in one of that, if you have only ID. So what you will do in that case, you have to write something like that. So you will say customer table join with the kind of that uh, you uh, join that's a inner unique order that's the second table that's our right table on dollar sign left so that means left table so it means customer table and then you provide the customer id that's the column we would like to use equal to equal to dollar sign right that's our order table so, and then you will say customer or whatever the column. Let's say if in case it is the ID, so then you will use the ID, okay? In my case, both columns names are same. I kept it same. So I don't have to write uh, the whole expression say in left dollar sign left dot customer ID is equal to dollar sign right is dot ID. So, but if, the, your, if your joining columns are different name, then you will use this left dot and right dot. So left is your first table and right is your second table. So let's uh, execute uh, uh, with uh, this expression as well. It's going to return us the same records uh, because the only thing what we did uh, instead of using only this uh, customer ID, we just uh, specified the whole uh, fully qualified uh, column name uh, for the joining part. Okay. Now, if you would like to get that second data, so that's our uh, uh, Raza that with the ID one so you can do that with the inner unique how you do that so customer join kind inner unique order on so you're joining condition on that column from the left table and right table and then you'll say where name equal to Raza so you're pushing this uh, query to use uh, name Raza once it use it then uh, it's gonna use the name Raza and see right there that's what it is getting the record so that's not really fun. I mean, if you have duplicate records and all that, uh, sometimes you'll miss that. Uh, if you will just uh, write queries like this. Uh, so we'll say customer join other table on your column list, whatever you want to join. So it's going to miss some records uh, because it's going to use inner unique. OK, so you might want to use some different type. Uh, in this case, we get all the records uh, for matching records. Now let's go with the inner uh, join. So inner join will give you all uh, the records of wherever it match. So customer join kind inner. So see the previous was inner unique. Now we are using inner join and order table on left dot our column, then right dot our second second column from the order table. So let's execute now and see what we get. And if you guys remember, now we have a Raza that is ID one in the customer table, Amir with ID one, and then we have Lisa. So these are joining with the, all these uh, records here, and you can see that uh, right there. So that's how we are getting all the matching records wherever they are matching between uh, two tables. So this is where you will use inner join. Now let's talk about uh, left outer join. Show all the records from the left table and uh, even no matching in the right uh, table. So in this case, what you will say, customer join kind left outer with the second table order on and then provide the, the column on which you are joining. Now, now if you just want to even before you run this query and see from the definition, show all records from the left, 
even no matching in the right. So what is matching from the left? So in the customer table, so you write there. If you guys remember, we have IDs one, two, list three. Even we don't have any record for Steve. If you guys see right there, there's no record in the customer table for Steve. So the, the definition says that it is going to show you everything from the left uh, matching. So right there, matching with your customer uh, order table. And also the record that also even does not have the matching record in the left, uh, in the right. So it is going to show you all the records from the left table and uh, matching records uh, on the customer, uh, sorry, on the right side as well. And if there is no match for your uh, left table that will also be displayed so we can see that as well okay let's go to the next one and now it says uh, left right that is uh, sorry right order so what it will do it will show you all the records from the right uh, even no matching record in the left so it will uh, show you matching records and also anything that ha that is on the right available but there is no data available in the left that will be displayed as well so you will see blank values there okay so see it showed all the matching data between two tables and then showing the records uh, from the right table so if you guys remember that there is id4 in the order table right there that there is no match here in the customer table so this will be displayed as well and the blank comes on the left side so it shows you everything from the right side okay now show all the records from both sides if you want to do that matching and non-matching so in this case what you will do you will use a full outer so in this case it's showing us all these matching records right there and then we know that there is one record in the order table that does not have any matching in the customer table so it's displaying that as well and null values are coming here and there is one record in the uh, customer table for which we don't have even matching record in the uh, order table that's also displayed here so it is displaying all the matching and non-matching records from both sides so now let's go further and take a look on left semi uh, type it shows all the records from the left table which have matching records in the right table display only left table columns so it's going to give you all the matching records in the right for for which it will match on the right side and but display only the left column uh, left table columns so in this case it is going to display us only customers which has matching records in the order table so you see that we have a matching record for Amir, we have matching record for Raza, we have matching record for Lisa. So let me show you here. So we have, uh, see, Amir, Raza, and Lisa, and ID 1 right there, 2 right there. So for this one, we have matching record in uh, our order table. So as per our definition, it is the semi left. It's going to show you all the records from the left table. See, so this is a customer ID and name. So it is only showing you the data from the customer table. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Shows all the records from the right table which have matching record in the right table. Displays the only right table column. Okay, which has uh, in the, uh, here it should be left. Okay, now what it is doing, uh, showing it is gonna show you all the records uh, from the right uh, table which have matching records in the left okay but only displays the, the right column so uh, sorry right table columns so let's go ahead and take a look in this case it's going to display the all the columns from order table that's our right table and uh, only return uh, which are matching records uh, in the uh, customer table so remember that we have only three orders uh, one two and uh, one and two orders uh, available right there so if you guys remember that we have order one and order two that's matching with the these guys right there okay so uh, uh, that's uh, yeah right there okay so it is going to show you only those records and you can see right there but only showing you list of the columns from the right table so that's what it is so that's uh, done uh, right semi so this is very interesting I mean I in the sequel if you have to write it you have to write whole lot of things here it is a straightforward now let's go to the left anti so left anti the records that does not match with the right table 
but does exist in the left table. So if you guys remember, there is one record that is in the left table, but there is no matching record in the right table or order table. Which record is that? So you guys know that three Steve, there is no matching record in the uh, our order table, right? So that's the, it is going to show you that record. Left and T. Okay, that's the kind of the join you will be using if you want to get all the records from left table which has no matching record in your right table. So execute and you will get that. And the same way, if you want to do right NT, it means it's going to get you all the records from the right table, which does not exist in the left table. So in this case, if you guys see that, well, which we have number four, right? Because this, uh, I put in customer ID number four here, and uh, there is no customer ID in the left table with the four. So this one, see, it does not exist here. So if you want to get that, those records, uh, I want to get only those records in the right table which does not exist in the left. So you can use a right anti join type. So these are different type of joins. You can further explore. I will put the link in the description for the left uh, for the joins in Custo, and uh, you can further investigate and experiment. So I hope this video is helpful and you learn. Uh, also, I will go ahead and put the code in the description so you can experiment by yourself. You can always insert more data here if you want to play with the different scenario and all that and learn from there. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.